Good morning, Girl Scouts. Uh, my name is Candy, and today we are going to be doing a fun outdoor activity. Um, we are going to be making outdoor art, and so today what we're gonna do is, I'm currently at the park. Um, I brought my dog, he is a little bit camera shy today, but um, we're gonna let him loose and we're gonna go find some items. Uh, make sure that if you're doing this activity outside that you do it with uh, a parent so that they know where you are and you stay safe. So. Now that we've gone over that, we do need to pick up some things. So what you will be looking for today is some sticks, similar like this. Um, you can find some pine cones, some big leaves that we can use for our project later, uh, some rocks, anything that looks interesting to you. Let's go ahead and pick it up and uh, bring it back with us so that we can do this activity. All right, girls, so now we're going to pick up some pine cones such as these. These are pretty big. They'll be nice for our activity. Let's see? Come on, Frank, let's go look for some more stuff. This activity is really fun to get outside and um, explore around your backyard or your neighborhood. Maybe you can go on a walk with your parents or your sisters or your brothers. Just make sure that you're following um, your safety rules, which is always let a parent know where you're going. Be accompanied by an adult and do not talk to strangers. All right. So Frank and I are gonna continue on our search for some more things you are welcome to join us alrighty Girl Scouts so um, I have picked up a couple sticks and a few pine cones I will show this to you now here we are this park bench we have quite a few sticks for our activity and a few pine cones that we will be using and now we need to retrieve our pup and then head on home Alrighty, Girl Scouts, so I am back home now, but I'm still sitting outside on my balcony so that this activity feels like it's still outdoors, even though we have to stay safe right now. So anyway, um, while I was looking around in my home, I found this really cool mason jar and I was thinking that maybe what we could do, we can make a stick bouquet. So what a stick bouquet looks like is whatever you want it to look like. Today, I have decided to use some painting, uh, some paints to uh, paint all of my sticks to like about right here. And then we're gonna put them in our mason jar, if you have one. If not, you can use a vase or something fun that you find, found at home, maybe a cup. And uh, you can create this really fun uh, stick bouquet. All right, so. Um, you can use different types of uh, painting paint colors. So I have these really cool silver and gold one. Um, I have some blue, purple, red, white. So we're just gonna paint a lot of different colors onto our sticks and make it as creative as we can so that we can add something fun and colorful to our home. You can even um, tie these together and make, um, I don't know what you would call these, but basically you tie them together with some ribbon or some thread and you can uh, make some wall art. You can even put this outside on your balcony or on your door, somewhere where your neighbors can see it so that's something fun that you can share with your community right now that we are unable to um, be outside and have our friends over and stuff. So um, what you will need is some different size paint brushes. Uh, something to put your paint on. This is all dry, but this is usually where I put my paint. Um, some paper towels for cleanup and some water. And of course you need your sticks, which we should have here. All right, so let's get to painting. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by putting a dollop. A dollop is like a very small amount of paint on my plate. So something like this, that is good enough size because it does spread really well. And then if you need any extra paint, then you can always add more. So I'm doing yellow and pink. 
I'm also going to use some purple. Feel free to use whatever colors you want. Um, feel free to mix colors and express yourself in with um, using a lot of different colors. Maybe you just want to paint them all one solid color. That's perfectly fine. You can also do some fun shapes on them. Like maybe if you have a big enough stick, I can show you one of my larger sticks. Um, you can draw some chevron shapes. If you don't know what that means, it would be like zigzags all the way across. You can do polka dots. You can just have fun with this activity. It doesn't have to be too crazy. All right, so let's get to painting. I'm gonna start with my longer, thinner sticks so that we can start putting them in our uh, mason jar. You can also paint the mason jar if you would like. You can add your name on it. You can add something fun, something um, that says maybe like inspired or um, joy, unity. Depends on what you want to put in there. But I'm just going to leave my mason jar like that for now. All right, so I just finished painting one of my last um, sticks that I found on my walk with Frank today. And I am going to set these aside. Um, go ahead and put all of your sticks away and like, set them out in the sun or something so that they can uh, dry for about an hour and then flip them over and let them dry it one more time. Uh, when you are done, you should be able to put them in a mason jar kind of like I did and create this really cool pattern. I used sticks that were very different. Um, some had little twigs coming out of them, some were spiky and fun. So I added some color and now this is my stick bouquet. And I can put this just about anywhere in my house. Um, I can also set it outside for my neighbors to take a look at. Um, you can put it as a centerpiece or you can keep it in your room. So that is our activity for today. Uh, don't forget to clean your brushes. You can use the water. Um, go ahead and clean off all your brushes and make sure that you um, clean, them off, clean them off, wipe them off on a white paper towel or a towel of any sort so that they dry. You can also leave these out in the sun for a little bit so that they do dry and all of the color comes off. And that is it. I hope you had fun. Make sure that you clean up everything because we are Girl Scouts and we leave everything better than we found it. Um, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and meet me back here on Monday of next week and we'll have another fun activity that we will come up with on our walk with Frank. Alrighty, have a great day.